Pores are used for making for making cavities and the hollow projections hollow projections which cannot be normally provided by pattern so in this case we have a cylinder like this and we want to make a hollow cylinder so for this we are using a core here and this core is filled with a sand so if we have a sand here then the molten metal will get filled inside this one so this one is molten metal so this part is called as core now the core part is little bit extended that is called as core print so this one is core print and sometimes the core are also supported by chaplets so these are the chaplets why we are providing the core and the chaplets so that this part will be in equilibrium position because surrounded is what molten metal so that is why we have provided the core print and the chaplets suppose we have a molten metal here so let call rho l the density of molten metal so this one is your molten metal this one and in this one we are placing this core so we are placing this core here uh, core print i am not consider here i will only consider the core so let only idea of core so this is one is core and this core is made up of sand so let's say the density of this one is rho is this is a case of fully submerged body is this is a case of fully submerged body since we already finished the fluid mechanics so we'll take the help of fluid mechanics so since it's a fully submerged body is a volume displaced is same as the volume of core so this one is true because it's a fully submerged body so if you know the dimension of this suppose we know that this length this one is diameter equals to d and this length equals to l so what is the volume displaced is same as volume core is equals to what pi by 4 multiplied by d square multiplied by l and the molten metal has a higher density as compared to what sand so we have density of liquid is higher than the density of core so in this case the weight of core will act in a downward direction and buoyant force will act in the upward direction so we have this one is buoyant force and this one is weight so weight will be equals to the weight of core and the weight of core is given by product of density multiplied by g multiplied by volume displaced so i will simply write v because this one is same quantity and what is the buoyant force so i will write buoyant force fb buoyant force is basically is equals to what weight of liquid weight of liquid displaced so weight of liquid displaced so weight of liquid displaced so we have to take the density of liquid multiplied by g multiplied by v this force is acting downward and this force is acting upward so naturally we have a net upward force is more because rho l is more as compared to rho so what we write is net upward force or we can call this one as net buoyant force why we are still calling a net buoyant force because there is a chance that some force is still moving the core in a upward direction so that is why we call as net buoyant force net buoyant force we will be having equals to what buoyant force and sign is minus because w is what downward so if you substitute this one g and v is common what is left is rho so it's a rho of liquid minus rho of core multiplied by g multiplied by volume of the core now because this force is acting in a vertical direction so this core will be get misplaced or will be get displaced from its original position and whatever the hole will come will become the offset hole whereas we want concentric hole so for this purpose we have to provide the core print and if the still we have the less force available there then we can use the chaplets now some standard abstract is available here the load supported the load supported by core print is approximately equals to 350 times a where 350 is constant and a is surface area of core print do not remember this relation it is just a discussion so if you are able, if we have the value of core print area if you are able to calculate the core print area here what is the surface area of this core print so we have a restricted area available here so now what will happen this force is not completely balanced by surface area maybe may not be if it is balanced it's okay then we don't require chaplet but if still there is an unbalance then we require chaplets so unsupported load now still we have unsupported load this equals to what the net buoyant force so i will write a b net so this is sorry vertically upward and minus 350a this one is the force due to what core so this one is unsupported load 
if this value is equal to 0, then do you require chaplet or you don't require chaplet? So, we don't require chaplet. So, no chaplets are required. And suppose this value is positive value, then do you require chaplets? Yes. So, yeah, the next other balance is done by what? Chaplets. So, this type we require chaplets. So, that is what the additional support is given by chaplets. For every 1 Newton unsupported load, we require 29 mm square cross section area of chaplet. So, normally chaplet is made up of same material up of molten metal. So, these chaplets are made up of same molten metal. Once the molten metal will come, they will get dissolved and this part is get free. In a sand casting of a hollow part, a lead, a core of diameter equals to what? 120 mm. So, we are only interested in core size. So, diameter is equals to 120 mm. And the height of the core is what? 180. So, H 180 mm is placed inside the mold cavity. So, we have some arrangement like this and cavity and this entire is your molten metal. So, what is the density of molten metal? Molten metal density of core material is what? 1600 and lead. This one is lead is 11300 and the density of this core material is 1600. So, weight of this part will act downward and this lead will give you the upward force. This one is the fully submerged case. So, we have net upward force. So, FB the net force will be buoyant force minus weight. Buoyant force is given by density of liquid multiplied by G multiplied by volume displaced. Volume displaced is same because of fully submerged. This one is density of core multiplied by G volume of core. So, this one is rho L minus rho C multiplied by G multiplied by V. Density of liquid is how much? 11300. Density of core is 1600. G is 9.81. It is better to convert this problem for fluid mechanics because we want answer in what? Newton. So, this one is pi by 4. I will make it 120 mm square and into 180. So, this become 180 mm cube. So, 10 to the power minus 9 will take care meter cube. So, this one is conversion factor 193.7. And aluminum alloy density equal to what? 2600. So, this one is density of liquid. Casting is to be produced a cylindrical hole of 100 mm diameter and 100 mm length. So, diameter is 100 mm and same is the length. The density of sand core is 1600. So, density of core is 1600. We have same figure. We want to calculate net buoyant force. So, that will be equals to FB net equals to buoyant force minus weight. In the case of fully submerged, so, volume will be same. So, density of liquid multiplied by G multiplied by volume displaced, density of core multiplied by G multiplied by V. Rho L minus rho C into G into volume 2600 minus 1600 will convert entire problem into what? SI unit 5 by 4. Diameter is 100 square, length is 100 and additional factor is 10 to the power minus 9, 7.7 7 .7 Newton.